Hey people, so I'm now in Cologne. It's a bit of a grey day, as you can probably see. It's a little bit chilly, but hopefully it will stay dry. <laughs> That's all that really matters. So first impressions, I got here, and the first thing I was confronted with was this beautiful, imposing cathedral, which was stunning. I haven't checked it out yet, like inside, but the outside, it's, it's gargantuan. And... So that was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then walk straight past there. And it's just like road after road of retail and shops and buskers and busy, really busy, really crowded, like any other kind of generic European city. So that part wasn't so great. But then I walked through there to get to where my hostel is and I'm in the Belgian quarter and it's, there's a lot more students, there's a lot more, quirky different bits and pieces so that looks pretty good and so then today I've kind of gone out and explored some streets further away from like the main town so that I can see a bit more of what actual Cologne is like not city centre Cologne and, and it's quite nice there's quite a bit of street art which is always interesting and always enjoyable and now I'm down by the river the Rhine River and it's a little bit chilly. It's very chilly, actually. But it's not raining, so it's nice for a wander. And I'm gonna go and get me some lunch, wander some more, go to some museums, check out some more of this place. So I accidentally nearly just ended up in the middle of some kind of protest. That explains why there's been so many police everywhere the past couple of days. It was weirding me out a bit. I wondered if they were on high alert, but it would be because they're obviously protesting at the moment. Just to explain the reason why I look so rotten today is because I didn't sleep very well last night. One of the problems of staying in a hostel is that people come in at various times. They check in because of different trains or flight times or whatever. And so we had people arriving at various times throughout the middle of the night and talking and making loud noises until the early hours of the morning. Why a hostel would put a metal bin in a room, I don't know because that wasn't great either. So I didn't sleep too well, but yesterday I, my God, that protest. Wow. It all seems quite peaceful though. Despite the amount of police, or maybe that's why they're peaceful. Yesterday I had a nice walk along the river. It wasn't too bad the weather, so it was quite nice for a wander. And I saw a couple of parks and oh I went to the Lindt Chocolate Museum, which was very yummy, even for someone that only really liked quite dark chocolate, but I did enjoy it. Uh, it's definitely better than the Cadbury one because it talks a lot about the history of chocolate, the origin, about as well like the context here within Germany and during the war, what impact that had on chocolate production and consumption. It was um, it was very interesting, a lot more so than the Cadbury tours, which I find are just an excuse to give out free chocolate. So I did really enjoy that. Today it rained quite heavily this morning so I went and saw the cathedral which is incredible it's huge and since then I went to <laughs> I went to an art gallery um, which had an incredible amount of stuff and I was actually there for like two and a half hours I've got the whole day tomorrow before my night train so I might do the perfume museum in a bit leave the other art gallery till tomorrow but apart from that just wander and enjoy the music I guess so the protest route goes right past the next museums I was gonna look at so I'm just gonna find somewhere to stop and have a coffee I think and wait this one out <laughs> I'm now coming to the end of my time in Cologne I've visited another art gallery today, the Walrath Museum, which was quite good, not as good as some others I've been to, but it was quite good. And the Fragrance Museum I went to, which was interesting, but it was quite expensive for what it was. It was nine euros, and you got to smell some scents and hear about the history of the first 
ever perfume here and the first ever eau de cologne which is different from eau de parfum or toilette so yeah it was interesting but it was quite pricey for what it was but you do get a little free sample with the cologne so it wasn't yeah it was all right <laughs> i get my night train tonight to mind blank to berlin so i've kind of got to hang around till uh, just after 11 o'clock to get the trains. I'm gonna go and find somewhere to have some dinner, maybe have a drink and then go back and pick up my luggage from my hostel because they've held on to it for me for the day which is really handy so I could wander without having to worry about that and then I'll see what the night train's like. Cologne has been it's been okay. I've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. It's nice if you get outside of the main typical city centre to the other areas that there are. So I definitely recommend doing that if you're going to come to Cologne. And it's lovely just to have a wander down by the water. It's a nice place, but I'm not overly ecstatic about it. I've enjoyed my time here, but I've definitely had long enough. I don't need any longer. On to the next place. Thanks for joining me as always and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and see you in Berlin. Bye!